Aha. I see. Okay. Well, welcome to Friday. And this book, Illustrated South America, is not going to help me with the record player. Still need some records. All right, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Happy Friday. It's going to be a great Friday. Weather's going to be nice this today and the weekend and <laughs> and then beyond. And then next week, maybe we get some rain. But let's uh, for now do our heady lines, which we're going to start with. Why is Planes, Trains? Ooh, one of my favorite movies. Why is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles rated R? And is it safe? for families this Thanksgiving. Well, planes, trains, and automobiles is of course perfect for families. You can in fact watch it on a lot of uh, cable or basic cable channels where they've made it PG-13. The reason why this movie is rated R is there's one scene that has the F word in it like four or five times. The rule in Hollywood when they're making films is if you say the F word, I think three times, it's PG-13. If you say it a fourth time, it gets an R rating. Because they said the F word so many times in this one scene is why it gets an R rating. Really, really dumb, but that is an awesome movie. I watch it every, every, every year on the eve of Thanksgiving. I always watch that. And then on Thanksgiving night, I always watch to kick off the Christmas season, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. All right, Black Friday, excuse me. Black Friday trailer reveals Bruce Campbell's campy horror movie. Yes, Bruce Campbell, who is from a great bunch of scary movies. I'm totally blanking on the name of it, but anyway, good guy, this is really funny. It's a Black Friday, it is a Christmas horror movie, but I'm sure there's plenty of comedy in it as well. It looks really, really good, so go check that trailer out. You can find that on YouTube and Facebook and all kinds of places. Really, really good. I'm looking forward to that one. Nine best comedy movies from the 70s are still hilarious today. Yes, because it's Friday and I was talking about movies on Friday. Let's check out 70s movies that are still hilarious to today. That means the jokes hold up today. If you watched it, it was made in the 1970s, you'll still laugh today. Okay, starting with number nine, counting down to number one. Number nine, American Graffiti. Yes, filmed right here in Modesto, California, American Graffiti. Now, I'm not sure that the whole movie actually stands up, but some of the jokes and some of the humor definitely does. This is actually still a really pretty good show. It's rare that I come across it on cable, mostly because I don't flip channels as much as I used to, but it does show up from time to time. Really good show. All right, uh, number eight, Slapshot. Never seen it. Number seven, MASH, the movie. Yes, MASH, the TV series, actually based on a movie that came out first. Different characters, the movie is actually pretty darn good. Uh, the TV series, it was okay. Number six, Smokey and the Bandit, one of my favorite movies of all time. This spun out a bunch of series, Burt Reynolds. Uh, this is a really, really good, definitely holds up. Uh, try not to watch it on basic cable. Try and watch the original version. There's a little bit of swearing in it, but uh, not much, but it makes it better because what they dubbed over was really, really dumb. Although it kind of made it a little bit campy and I do kind of like watching some of the scenes where they've dubbed the bad words with goofy words. It's anyway. Uh, number five, A New Leaf. No idea, never seen it. I think it's Canadian. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. I'm gonna give them a pass on that one. Interesting show, yeah. Uh, number three, Harold and Maude. Uh, I know it's a classic, but you know, again, this is kind of a sleeper. Uh, number two, Blazing Saddles. Never gets old, careful when you watch it. You might need, um, yeah, uh, some explanation for some of the jokes, but a good show. And the number one, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Absolutely, I can watch that every day. Although I haven't watched it in a while. Great comedy. All right, everybody, it is Friday. What do I usually do on Fridays? I give you a movie pick, and because we just went through those, and because the Holy Grail is, Monty Python's The Holy Grail is actually a really, really, really funny movie, it's got very sophisticated, smart comedy. There's two kinds of comedy. There's fart jokes, and then there's Monty Python jokes. There's a lot in between, but the Monty Python jokes are smart comedy. Really good, you'll get it. It's a lot of visual comedy. 
So it's really enjoyable. If you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. It's a period piece, but it's really funny. You'll like it. That's my movie pick for the weekend. You can get it on most streaming services right now. Otherwise, it's a couple bucks to rent on uh, other streaming services. That is Monty Python's The Holy Grail. All right, and now because it is Friday, we already talked about the movie. We're gonna jump right into the National Day of as soon as I tell you that what? Oh, it is Friday, and that means that one o'clock Instagram Live, Insta Trivia, always fun, always a blast. I have no idea what's gonna happen, so you're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. We've had a weird string of crazy guests that showed up, guest hosts that showed up uh, over the month of October. Now we're in November, so who knows what's gonna happen. We'll see one o'clock Instagram Live, Insta Trivia, Insta Live, Insta Trivia. We'll see you there one o'clock. Now let's jump right into our National Day of. Good morning, everybody. Here we are, Friday. Yes, we're going to have a lovely weekend. Weather's supposed to be nice. I can't wait. I'm going out of town. It's going to be my anniversary. We're just going to go away for the weekend. Can't wait. Won't tell you how long I've been married because it makes me sound older. So, but it is Friday, the end of the week. And today's national day is National Jersey Day. You know, a jersey. How many of you out there have a jersey? I know there's lots of you, because when we have jersey day, you wear them. Now don't get it confused with a t-shirt. It's a jersey, just like the players wear, you know? Football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer. There's lots of them. I could just keep on going forever. You know, we have a jersey of our favorite player, but maybe they don't play for that team anymore. My son has some really cool Will Clark ones that we bought him when he was younger that he still has and they're the vintage-y kind of ones when Will pulled the thrill plate at San Francisco. My husband has an old, old one from when he played in high school. Ooh, I shouldn't have said old, old twice, should I have? Mm, sorry about that, but it's from when he played in high school and they don't look like anything like they wear now because it's been a while, right? They change and everybody wants the latest and greatest new one. I think they kind of do that, you know, spruces up the team, doesn't always look the same, plus you want to buy a new one. It's called marketing, I believe. Nike has a very big hold on that if you're an Oregon team or a Washington team. You see it all the time. Them Oregon Ducks, they never wear the same jersey, the same outfit. It's amazing. Maybe that's why everybody wants to go play there. You get a new uniform all the time. But if you have a jersey, today's the day to don it and feel good about it. So if you didn't wear it today because you wouldn't have known, go home and wear it. Support the day of National Jersey Day and have a great weekend. Okay, very good, National Day. We've got a full week of those. We're kind of back rolling through as we're supposed to. Here, let's go back in the bearded past with the Zach Man. Friday the 5th, yeah! I was going to sing you guys beautiful music, but I decided not to because it's not quite Friday until we go back, 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 back in the beer, in the beer, 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 beer with, with Zach. Zach. Now you all know Friday, I love it, it's a great day, yeah, 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 let's move on past that. So, today in history, lots of fun stuff happens. Remember that McClellan guy I talked about earlier this week? Well, guess what? He was so good at his job, he got removed in 1862, almost a year later from his position. Yeah, like I told you, man just could not lead troops. Problem with McClellan, guys, one of the biggest problems, the troops loved him. He was not willing to kill his soldiers. And as a general, not to sound honorary, you have to be willing to lead them into battle and they have to have confidence wanting to go into battle. He did not gain that aspect and he could not do that. He thought this war would be won. He could win this war with the most limited casualties. And he was ahead of his time, actually, in a lot of ways. So it wasn't that he was dumb. He was ahead of his time. Unfortunately, medicine had not caught up with the technology of the Civil War. So there was no way that you weren't gonna have high casualties because even the wounded were gonna die. Even because of the sanitation, because of the weaponry, because of, there was just no medical 
there was just the medicine was way behind and the sanitation was way behind, okay? But with that being said, tch, McClellan still not, 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 not a good field commander. Um, also, too, on this day uh, in uh, 1917, you know, the fall of the Russian Tsar is getting ready to happen here. Nicholas, yes, the Russian Revolution. Lenin calls for October Revolution. This uh, was, uh, uh, was, was big. This was the beginning of starting that change to communism in Russia and getting rid of the single monarch system. And actually, that happened all around Europe after World War I. Um, that was a major turning point of that war is it took away a lot of the old kings, queens, the monarchs, the powers, the, those kinds of, that royalty power and, uh, you know, the people wanted more than to be led by one person. And so, here we go. All right, guys. We all want a little more, don't we? All right, guys. It's Friday. Go have a little more of something, something, and have some fun. All right, guys. Later, man. Oh, yeah. Back in the past. In South America, they had record players, and it clearly states that you need a record to play it. Weird. All right, that is it for Friday, everybody. We made it through our first week in November. Have a great week, everybody. Stay positive, even when it gets rough. We'll see you next week on The Morning Routine. Take care, everybody.